I don't know when it's going to start recording, but I'm going to just assume that it's recording right now. Who knows? Okay, here is lesson 5-4, the first part of the notes, making a video with second period. We're going to go from, everybody agree that this is exponential form? Everybody say yes. yes. Does everybody agree these are both logarithmic form? Everybody say yes. Okay, we're going to convert to the other form. This is the quintessential skill, the most important thing you can learn from the second half of topic five. So, um, boys and girls, what is a logarithm? And where do you start? The base. Why? The base is the base is the base. That was outstanding. Okay, so if I'm going to transform this into logarithmic form, first I'm going to write the word log right here, and then I always start at the base. Now, notice how you write the two down as a subscript. That's very, very important. This is, for a logarithm, whatever number is written as a subscript is the base of a logarithm. Just like over here, this power, this is the base, this is the exponent. Everybody agrees with that, right? You see how the base is the base is the base? Yeah. Or the base is the base is the base? That's why it's important and you always start at the base. Now watch over here on the left hand side. You start at the base, you go under the equal sign, so I'm going to go 2, the next thing I write is the 1 over 64, put it in parentheses if you wish, it's not necessary, and then you loop it. After you hit the 1 over 64, you loop it. On the other side of the equal sign is negative 6. Let's see that again. Now the natural base E, if you remember that was used in the APERT, continuously compounded interest formula. The natural base E and this log right down here, LN, natural log, those always go together. Okay, So if you see an E, you're going to start off not with the word log, you're going to start with LN, like that. And you can write the base down there if necessary, for LN you don't have to. But we always start at the base, we go under the equal sign. So I'm going to write in parentheses 54.6 and then after you go under you loop it back to the exponent and say that's approximately 4. Okay, let's confirm our definition of a logarithm boys and girls. You see why I made you guys say that a second ago. What is a logarithm? An exponent. What is a logarithm? An exponent. Look at what the exponent is in this expression over here. See that's cool? What is this logarithm? an exponent. Look at the exponent over here. Now, the same thing goes the other direction. If I give start with logarithmic and going to exponential, personally I think this is easier. What is the base right here? It's unwritten. What is it? Does anybody remember from the reading? Ten. It's a 10. That's right. This is called common log. So there's an unwritten 10 right here. We're going to start at the 10. We go under the equal sign and now we're going to put that up because a logarithm is an exponent, right? A logarithm is an exponent, so that becomes this exponent right here. And then after you hit that, you loop it back to the 200. You see how you go that way with that, those two? Same thing here. What's the base on natural log, boys and girls? Somebody say E. The base here is an E. You see how the natural log, the base is always E? So we start at this base. I write E. Go under the equal sign. That is an a logarithm is an exponent, so that is an exponent, and then loop it back. So that is approximately equal to 25. And that's good enough for the video. Good job, boys and girls. Give yourselves a round of applause.